Hi, welcome to the fifth tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu Server. In this tutorial, I'm going to be setting up NAT, Pastodis SSH, and NFS. So, first up is NAT. Um, we need to enable IP forwarding for NAT. So, let's see if it is enabled at the moment. So, cat slash proc slash sys slash net slash ip version 4 slash ip underscore forward and that should echo well that should give us zero so to enable it we're just going to echo one into well that file so if we cut it again it should show one um, to make these changes permanent, because um, every time you restart the server, um, IP forwarding will revert to zero. So to make these changes permanent, we edit um, slash etc slash sys ctl dot conf, and scroll down until you get a line saying. Uh, IP version IP no oh, net dot IPv4 dot IP underscore forward equals one and just remove the hash so that the file is unco so that line is uncommented. Once that's done, just exit, right quit the file, and that's it. So now we need to add a IP rule to the IP tables that allows NAT. So first off, we're just going to flush the NAT table, the NAT, and then we're going to clear the table. Then IP tables save. Adding the actual rule to the IP tables is IP tables minus the NAT minus a post routing minus a and post routing in capital letters then minus o with the public ethern or public interface and for me that is minus o eth1 then minus j and in capital masquerade and that should be it um, port forwarding should work now so I'm just going to log into node 1 again and to see if it's working I'm going to ping google.com it gets the IP that's usually a good sign and the ping goes through so IP forwarding is in fact working uh, next up is pastodes SSH so on your master node in as root type SSH keygen dash keygen and hit enter it's going to ask for a file just leave that blank no passphrase and then it's going to generate your key so just type cd to make sure you're in your own home directory then cd dot ssh and the year you will see these three these two files we want to copy id underscore rsa dot pub to authorized underscore keys okay so now we have those three files and that is most of it we're just going to place this in a somewhere where the nodes can copy it from here so I'm going to go one back and cp dot ssh to slash home slash slash sinky and recursively because it's a directory and that should be wait sorry one last thing we need to add the permissions back to sinky for the for his own home folder yeah capital R okay now let's switch over to node 1 Uh, we need to install the OpenSSH 
client and OpenSSH server. But you'll see if you do an apt cache search for OpenSSH, you only get the client. Before we can install the server, we will need to do a apt-get update. Uh, uh, I guess I'm not root, so sudo minus i and then apt-get update. This is going to quite take quite a while, so I'm going to start the process on node 2 as well and then pause the recording until the whole thing is done. So just log in as Sinky, sudo minus i, apt get update. Okay, pause the recording until both are done. Okay, node 1 is done. So we can start looking for the um, OpenSSH packets again. So apt catch apt cache search open SSH. Okay, there's a boatload of them. So now we can go apt get install open SSH minus client and open SSH minus server and minus Y. Okay, so that's going to install and then just do the same thing on node 2 apt get install open ssh client open ssh server minus y okay and the node 1 is finished now we want to scp the dot ssh folder we created a bit earlier into the um, onto the nodes. So SCP Sinky at master home slash Sinky slash yeah, dot SSH. Remember to add minus R to the front to, to specify that it is a directory we are copying into the current folder. Yes, add the key into the password. Okay, if we do an ls minus la, the ssh folder should be here. So now we should be able to ssh directly into the master without having to type a password. And voila. So let's just scp the, the folder onto the node 2 as well. So scp recursive sinky at master home sinky dot ssh into the current folder yes password and then ssh into net one and it works okay wonderful now the last thing we want to do in this tutorial is get the nfs working so on the head node app get install nfs minus kernel minus server and then just add y okay installing okay vim slash etc slash exports now I want to add the two folders that we're going to mount in this file. So add slash root for IP range 10.0.0.0 slash 24. It is uh, um, the users has have read write permissions. It is asynchronous and no root squash. And then another for slash home, 11.0.0.0, slash 24, read write, async, no root, squash. And then last one is slash exports, 
with the same options read write no root squash async that should be a comma async and once that you once you're done with that just exit or well write and quit and then export fs minus verbose all okay it's complaining about the slash export directory so just make the slash export Oops. Make dir slash export and then export fs again. This time it's not complaining. Up. It's only giving a warning that the subtree check has, is, hasn't been specified, but that's fine. Uh, next step is to start the NFS service. So service NFS kernel server start. Okay. Just to test, I'm going to mount 11.0.0.1 over, um, sorry, root over export. Well, this can take a while. It doesn't always work from root onto, well, from the master onto itself. So while that's busy, I'm going to start mounting it from the node as well. First we need to install nfs minus common. Yes, install. Okay. Okay, well it looks like it's mounted correctly here. Nothing there, nothing here touch a file hello and it's here and it's at export as well so just q mount slash export now back to node 1 mount master slash root over root no idea why it's taking that long so we can do the same from node 2 as well. Mount master root over root. Oh, apt get install nfs minus common. And then mount no minus master root over root okay it's done here if I ls now ls the hello file should be here so now we just need to add master home over home and make their slash export and mount master slash export over export and then do the last two for mount for node 2 as well so mount master slash home over home and mount master slash export over export of course we need to create the export directory first and then mount that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching